everybody, it's Mad Max again with another raid video. Uh, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up if you like it. And, you know, I'm trying to hit that thousand subscriber and, or even go way past it if I can. But today I want to talk about the new champ that you can only get with the player point system. It's just come out. Now, this thing is Cisra the, the Chard. Now, when you look at her kit, her kit is almost identical to Mordecai's. Mordecai is an epic. I've had Mordecai a long time. He's a great champion for spiders. That's what burn champions are really good at. Now, when you look, she's got this passive. Now, the passive is whenever the champ is attacked and it's the enemy is under an HP burn, that will burn it will sit down and heal the champ by 25%. It also has a 15% chance to instantly activate the burn. And it goes up by 15 more percent if you book this thing out. Now, this is a legendary champ, and everybody knows how hard it is to get legendary books in this game. It's almost impossible. It takes you a long time to, to book out these legendaries. I've got tons of legendaries, and I'm a free-to-play player. You know, so, you know, that, and I still, I've got no books for them. Now, it's, A2 is a big deal. I mean, it attacks all enemies. It has an 80% chance of placing an HD burn debuff for two turns. That is exactly what Mordecai does, but it's epic. Now, I don't know if it hits and does damage with the burn when it hits it or if it just burns. Now, the nice thing about Mordecai is, is like when you go to Neither Spider, you can take Mordecai in and it works really well because Mordecai is going to burn the little spiders and the mother spider and it does not count as an attack. Now, this one might, I don't know, but it has to. It has damage in here. 10% extra damage, 10% extra damage. And as you know, if you actually damage the little spiders in the neither spider, then it heals the neither spider. So you can't attack, you can't actually damage the little spiderling. So this isn't going to work in neither spider, according to this. Now, it's A3, it attacks all enemies, and it decreases the terminator by 15, all the enemies by 15%. And it decreases the turn meter of the enemy by another 15% if they're under an HP burn. This is exactly what Mordecai does because Mordecai decreases the turn meter by 15% that are under the burn, but he also increases the turn meter of all the allies by 15%, so it works out the same. Now, the attacks of one enemy three times, and each hit has a 30% chance of increasing the, of the HP burn duration. And each hit has a 50% chance of decreasing the burn duration of a, a, a random buff. Now, of course, this books out to like 45. Now, this is a legendary champ, and I that's of course on that's of course at 50 and all that. But now, this thing is has. 19,000 hit points and has 1,200 defense and 1,000 attack is what it has as a base stat. Now, when you go in and you look at Mordecai, and I don't remember what order he's in, I have him though. But when you go in and you look at him, now he has 13,000 HP, but he's epic. And he has 1,100 defense. He's got slightly more defense, but he has, of course, about 4,000 less hit points and about 10% more defense. Now, his attack is a little bit more. I mean, you know, so Mordecai is a great champ for, if you've got him, you know, he's great in spider. Now, he does exactly the same thing. He has a 75% chance of, of uh, increasing the turn meter of all enemies by 15% fills the turn meter by 75 as soon as A2. His A3 is where the attack is for the burn. He has a 75% chance of placing an HP, an HP burn debuff on all enemies for two turns. 
and he places a 50% increase attack buff on all allies for three turns. And now, this is not a damage attack. So you can go in with neither spider and you can hit all those little spiders. They will burn. They'll burn the mother, neither spider. And guess what? It doesn't heal. It does not heal because there's no damage. It just places the burn on them. But the other one, according to the, to the thing, it's going to damage you. If you damage the small spiders and the neither spider, it's going to heal it. So you're not going to do any good. You're just wasting your time with that. It wouldn't work good there. All right, it attacks one enemy. You know, it attacks one enemy has a 30% chance of decreasing target turn meter by 10% as a 60%. Instead, if it has under HP burn, it's 75 on its book. Epics are much easier to find books for. Mordecai is really good. I mean, he shines in a spider. He's good in neither spider. He's good in the frost spider. You know, I usually don't use it in Frost Spider on the hard because he's a little bit too squishy, but okay, you know, that's fine. I mean, you know, I've got uh, Drake Star that I got out of the Tag Team Arena. Drake Star is a great burn. Works really well for it. Keeps it burning all the time. I mean, you know, but it didn't take a year to get it either. And this thing, the way it's looking, it, unless you're fixing to pop down a whole lot of money, it's going to take you a very long time to get. I don't see this, you know, going to be quick at all. Now, unless you're willing to pop down a ton of money, like $500. Now, you want to earn points. You've got to have 25,000 points. They gave you 50 free to start with, and they give you nine per day is what they usually give you. Now, you go in and you look. If you want to get it right off the bat, it's limit two per week anyway. So you can pay $100 and you get 5,000 points a week. So if you're paying $100 a week, you're going to get for the next five weeks, you can get this thing. And you're going to buy a champion that's just maybe a little bit better than what Mordecai is and not that good in some situation. So, now, the, according to this, what it is, that's, when you go to your shop, that's the same thing. Your shop, you're going to buy these things. Now, your advance gives you three, and your daily playtime rewards are six, so that's nine. Nine per day. Well, that's real easy. If you're just logging in to this and you're doing nine per day, and that's all you're doing, and you need 25,000 points is what you need. And it takes you 2,778 days. That's going to take you seven and a half years. Now, it may be quicker than that because they're saying, you know, they're going to put it into the tournaments, they're going to put it into an event, but we just got a new event. And the new event didn't have anything in it. And maybe later, and maybe it's just because it's start, and maybe later on they're going to do this. And that, you know, that would be good. Maybe they'll start throwing in 25 or 50 for these events. But it's still going to take you a year, year and a half to get this champ unless you're popping a lot of money into it. Now, the other thing is, it's like, you know, the, the new, this is for the new faction. Okay, so this one you can only get with player and play. So they have four that you can pull from shards. That are legendary. They have six that are epic, and they got this one that's a really crappy rare that's really awful. I mean, you know, I've tried this one, and it doesn't do anything hardly. Now, I do have this one on an alt. It's a good champ. These are seem to be okay. I don't think they're great, but they're they're decent. Now, you know, they're gonna be okay. Decent champ, but now when you're going in, you're gonna need a variety of champ for a faction. I don't have any idea when they're gonna open this faction up to have it said. But when you go into a faction, 
you need five really good strong players. And as you can see right now, I'm only 10 points away from Lada. I'm getting, I mean, you know, I should be able to get Lada in a week or two. I've already upped the, the last two or three of these things that I need to finish it. But then once you get Lada, if before this thing comes out, you're just going to get some extra bonus rewards by going in there and doing this again. So, you know, you're going to get maybe another Sacred Shard, maybe a Lego book, maybe, you know, a few coins, whatever. But it's not going to be worth struggling for. But now, this set, and I'm hoping to hurry up and get through with this thing before this thing comes out. Because the odds of you pulling this, when you look down through here, you got 12 of these champs. And every one of these things has about 60, 50, some have 40, some have 30, there's a 75. But you can figure about 60 something of these things for 13 factions. So you've got 60 of these things for 13. So you have 780. So let's say you have about 800 because you got 12 there. So you've got a, and the rare isn't any good. So let's say, you know, there's 10 good ones out of that thing. So you've got 800. So you've got a 1 in 80 shot of pulling one of these things is what you've got. And, you know, when they open up the, the, the Shadow Scan Fraction, remember they gave us Ninja. They gave us a really great champion when they opened Shadow Scan up. I was hoping they were going to do this the same way. And unless they're going to, and I mean, this champ may be good for the facts for more, and they may start giving you a whole bunch of these things, you know, in the events, if you do the event, but I don't think so. I think this is a money sink for, you know, for them to get a lot of money. And I could be wrong. But right now, I'm just not impressed with this player and point system for this thing, because it doesn't look like a great champ. You know, it doesn't look like anything I don't already have, except for something to go for a faction. And anyway, guys, that's my opinion of it. I mean, you may have something. Leave me some comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to the channel if you can.